content and make this thing accessible to our communities that are celebrating. So it's going to perpetually be someone's presentation of the dead. Yeah, not to get too existential, but we know how I get. <laughs> but this is the, this is the reason. It's not just me, uh, because for those who again have been in the community many times, you know, when you're looking at me, you're looking at decades and generations of other people who poured into me, helping me get here, including these crazy who signed up for this wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the Cold Furious. It's an interesting thing. Like in the Avengers, Nick Fury. <laughs> because of the things that I kind of construct and have to do. Based off of just seeing them in their joy center. And that's some of the things that we're going to ask of you today. So one of our most critical touch points uh, we call, or I've been calling in my research. Um, research? Yeah. I'm also an assistant professor of dance at Arizona State University. Woo! <laughs> cultural signifiers, things that are known, even if you don't know them in their entirety, they're known, and they give you an entry point to be a celebrant in a particular culture, whether it's yours or it's one that you're adjacent to. So in that, cultural signifiers, the largest one in the, in the black community, are line dancers. And you all as jazz celebrants, what's our greatest cultural signifier in Lindy Hop? The ship ship. Who made the chip chip? Who what? Lies. Who made the chip chip? Say it again. Awesome. So let's make a for real circle because we all took geometry. 